Stan Jabalisco here. Uh, a little while back I received a letter from an old friend who writes me in pencil on ruled paper, the oldest of old-fashioned ways, and uh, he had a question or a comment. He said that he can hear the 60 hertz hum from the AC electricity in the wiring of his house. And at first I was inclined to dismiss that as nonsense until I recalled a similar hum that I heard when I lived in northwestern Wisconsin. It was lower than 60 hertz. It was probably somewhere around 20 hertz. And at first I thought it was my imagination because it was so faint and it rarely bothered me. Only when it was very quiet would I occasionally hear this hum. And and I wondered, is there something in my house vibrating? So I plugged my ears. Still heard the hum. I've also heard that there were massive arrays of strange antennas that put currents into the earth for the purpose of communicating with submarines or some such thing, and that they operated on a frequency somewhat like that and were located in, of all places, northern Wisconsin. Well, that problem passed uh, in 2003 when I moved out here to Dakota Territory. Never heard that hum again. I've never heard it again in my life and I'd never heard it before. Uh, that was right around 2001, right around the Twin Towers 911 incident time. 2001, 2002, early 2003, I occasionally would hear that hum, and I thought, I wonder if that equipment used to, to communicate with submarines could actually be affecting the hemoglobin in my blood or something, and, and causing this sound to occur in my inner ears. I, I really have no clue, one way or the other, other than to suspect that possibly it could. I, I don't believe that apparatus exists up there anymore, and, and I haven't been up there since to check it out and see uh, whether I would hear that hum or not. I've never, it's never been a problem for me otherwise. Uh, but it also brings up the interesting possibility of ham radio operators communicating on frequencies like that using earth currents at much lower levels of course so that it wouldn't cause everybody to come bashing their door down saying my ears are humming my ears are humming you know my chickens are laying fewer eggs the paint on my house is peeling too fast and it's all the fault of your ham radio station I don't I, I'm not likely to experience that if I but I have done some experience uh, experiments with ground currents um, placing alternating current between two ground rods separated at a great distance and trying to pick up that low frequency very very low ultra low frequency alternating current at a distance with variable results but I wonder if any of you have ever tried that exper experiment if any of you have ever had the experience or think you've had the experience of hearing strange low frequency hums in your ears that didn't seem to have a medical explanation have you I'm just sort of curious what do you think that that was do you think that was that uh, Navy apparatus uh, do, or do you think it was just a temporary medical problem because I, I really don't know. I really do suspect that the, my friend who wrote me the letter actually was hearing the 60 hertz energy which surrounds us all in an electromagnetic field from the 60 hertz power lines, 50 hertz in other parts of the world, and that similar problems might occur with other very high powered communications devices that use ultra low, super low frequencies like that. I'm just wondering what you think. 
So I'm going to take the dangerous and risky step of leaving comments open because I'll bet there's a connection. Stan Jibalisco signing off. Until next hum episode. So long.